Hello, it's Gabby Reynolds here and me mate Lee. And today we're playing Kid Chameleon off the Mega Drive. Yeah. Aren't we? Here we are. And uh, this, are indeed. this game we both had as children. We both played it a lot as children. Yes. I never finished it. It's too hard. I never, I'm saying, I never owned it. It was one of those that we used to rent out. Not me and my other mate. The other one mate that I had back then. Yeah, not me. No, you I didn't know guys I, I was not born. <laughs> when did this go? 92. 1992. Oh, you know that off the top of your head? I don't know. I know my stuff. Okay. I, I played this in about 1997. So I was old school when I was a kid. I, I didn't have like a PlayStation for a long time. I can't remember when I got my Mega Drive. Because it came out in 89. Drive. Uh, Probably I mean, 90 over here. I, I was only just born then. I swear to God, I only got my Master System in the late 80s, I think. I remember everyone who got a Mega Drive or a Master System, they always kept like the big giant box that came in with pictures of games on it. <laughs> it like, looked ultra cool. And I, I didn't have one while everyone else had one while they were popular, and it was like, it's just this super cool thing that I could just never have. It looked a lot cooler than the NAS. Yeah. yeah, it did. Because it had a big black box, didn't it? Yeah. And it had like Sega written all over it. Sega looks pretty cool anyway. It did and look cool. And then came in like a pretty boring grey box with like weird colour schemes. It was like red and grey. Pretty much like cheap trainers, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think well, they, a lot of the stuff in the late 80s, early 90s was red and grey. I don't know why. Red, grey, and black. My mate. <laughs> you didn't think that through? No, I didn't think that through. My mate's wallpaper was red, black, and grey. I remember all my friends. Very popular. And your brother as well, actually. Brothers. Had a, they always had like, I had two friends actually, including your brothers and this other friend that I had when I was a kid. Had like Sonic the Hedgehog and stuff like drawn all over the bedroom walls. That was pretty neat. Yes. I didn't. I, I wonder if that. people draw Ezio or whatever nowadays on the bedroom walls. Kids aren't as cool as what we were. Anymore. Okay, so uh, I remember this level a lot. I don't know what I'm like. Yeah. Basically, you're a kid who goes around and uh, sticking different helmets on his face. Yeah, if you watched the <laughs> cutscene before as well, it's because he went to an arcade and was playing a game. And it's something like he's trapped in that game now or something. Okay. But, oh, shit. you know, before he got trapped in this virtual reality world, he was still able to, in real life, punch bricks and destroy them and get helmets out of them, from what I could gather. He's good at getting helmets. He's like one of the coolest kids ever as well. It's like the fun's the sun or something, isn't it? Leather he's got a, a lot of that 90s chewed, <laughs> which Sonic was also meant to have. I know one of the 90s attitude was. Well, I think they call them gays now, but. No, I don't know. Tight uh, white t shirts. That, that was like American 90s, wasn't it? I never understood the fuss of the fans, I just thought it was a nonce. Hung around and acted hard in front of kids. Yeah, well, that, that was pretty much the character one. People, some people watching yeah. it as kids probably didn't get it, because, you know, when, when, when someone who's older is hanging around with kids. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking after the kids. And hanging around with them. That's how we call it. Yeah, I was looking after you. Okay. No, then again, you was old enough to go into a pub that one. Yeah, we weren't really kids. <laughs> it just sounds funny. But yeah, let's keep uh, collecting these clocks. There's a trouble I had when you get on the later levels. Like, the game wasn't too hard because of the enemies. It didn't struggle like this. But um, I was kept running out of time on about level 10. I think the hardest thing about this game is the way it controls. It's yeah, when, so when, when it's one of the few games you've got, you, you get used to the controls, don't you? It's more floaty than you know, Whitney Houston's dead body in a bath. Yeah, that's, that's the problem when you first start playing it, but like I say, when you've got this kid as a game, well, when you've got this game as a kid, you um, you get used to that and it's not an issue. Oh, wrong button. That was a bit of a delayed hit. So careful, you know you can jump on him and point your sword down. It does look like he's got a vagina on his face as well though, don't it? That, that's a dragon face, isn't it, with fangs and horns. 
I'm going to say it's a vagina. Okay, you do that. How do we get this to <laughs> work? Press a button on it. Press up, maybe. Up, down, down, down on its own. Alright. Smack, smack. Smack, easy, smack, smack. So did you ever finish this game? Nowhere near. I don't think. I remember I got to a... I think it was in a building and I got the helmet that turned me into a fly. Oh, you got further than me then. Unlike my helmet, that attracts flies. Oh dear. Ho ho! Yeah, I, I got as far. I think the most advanced helmet I ever saw was <laughs> the one that looks like Jason Voorhees. I can't help but laugh whenever helmets mentioned. It's a totally innocent <laughs> word. Do you get more points if I pick up a helmet than all? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. If you've already got, yeah, I've got one. points on this. If you've already got that helmet on your face, <laughs> try and get as many helmets as you, you can. Get, on your face. Um, it's one of those games, you know, in the olden times, used to like if you collect a hundred of our game collectible, you get an extra life. I think it might just fill your energy up a bit. Your hit points are oh, yeah. there in the top left. There's a cheat here, but we're not going to do it because we're not cheating bastards. Well, you can't remember how to do it properly. And I can't remember how to do it properly. Is there some invisible blocks or something? These blocks here, I think if you hit them, them in the right order, if you manage to get... <laughs> oh, well, fuck it. But I think there's some sort of level skip if you manage to get onto the last brick oh, so and then, like, duck down on it and do something else. It's like a Mario clone cheat. Yeah. yeah. High water pass. One. Getting somewhere now. I mean, there's been quite a big game for the Mega Drive. Game. I mean, we got a new helmet here. Yeah, wall climbing one, isn't it? Something like a bull or a rhino's hat. Oh, yeah, that one with the spike on it. Something like that. Here we are. And now we can run through walls. Nice. How cool is that, though? <laughs> it's pretty cool, isn't it? In the way he just stops and looks at you. Like, yeah, I'm cool. I see, Dave, you just leave him too long. He runs out of town and dies. We won't run out of time, will you? I don't think he's got any special Sonic stuff going on. We would have done it by now, surely. Yeah. No, he's not going to do it. He stopped looking cool and started looking awkward. He's not going to do anything. I'll tell you what lets this game down. No bosses. I can't oh, yeah. remember there being any boss fights. I never really thought about that when I was playing it. And I never really thought about it until you mentioned it. Yeah. I don't think it's really much of a letdown. It just makes it feel like more of an adventure and less of like. like there's, there's just no actual enemy, is there? Really? You've got these weird things. Yeah. They're like obstacle enemies, but there's no one he hates and there's no one out to kill him. What is it? Is it the game's sort of become self aware of the books? Oh, yeah. no, I don't think I wanted that. Yeah, you need to climb the wall. And it started. Keep pressing jump. Stealing children. Or something oh, like right. this machine's been taking kids that lose at the game or something. Or something like that. You, you probably could have clinged on that wall then yeah. as well. It's basically a typical 90s, late 80s story and of machines yeah. coming alive and fucking taking kids. So you know anything about the developers of this game? I know it was developed using an Amiga and not a PC like most other games. That's, and that's all I know. I, think. I don't know who made it actually. I probably should have researched this, it's not very... Yeah, well it was a quick pick, wasn't it? Really? It was a quick pick. It was meant to be playing Shinobi... No, Alex the Kid in Shinobi World. I'd rather play Shinobi in Alex the Kid World. <laughs> would kick ass, wouldn't it? That would be kind of cool. It'd get a lot easier. I had lots of interesting things to say about Shinobi. We can still talk about it, I'm sure. If you ever want to mention anything. It's just too painful to talk about. I was looking forward all week to playing it. Well, you can play it in your own time. <sighs> I suppose I'll have to. Now, what have we got here? Oh, these bitches spit at you, don't they? Huh. Can we... Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Floaty! You're going to go straight through into those spikes. Oh, come on. There's something in here. I'm sure there is. Uh, maybe we can jump right across. Yeah, you can. You go through the wall, don't you? Uh, yeah! How do I remember that after about 20 odd years? Oh, I do too. I think <laughs> it's because obviously you ran it a lot, so you did this level a lot. Oh, little secret ones. No save states back in those days. Oh, there's a world record for this game held by 
The Winslinator. The who? Winslinator. That's obviously his moniker, not his real name. So his parents had a sense of humour. Yeah. <laughs> What's the record then? What's the record? Um, I'm just figuring it out. Special. Yeah. It's a non-TAS world record high score, run with a total of 1,813,771 points. Where's it achieved? Maybe it only shows you points with people dead, and then we'll go BANS up here. Yeah, most people, oh, sh- apparently most people won't make it till the end, let alone run such a high score. No, I don't think we're going to make it to the end. Well, we're not doing a speed run, either. Oh, I am. <laughs> <laughs> this this is a, a woeful speed. I think we can get through that uh, You can find that record high score on YouTube. I guess you just search the wins linear, it's probably on his playlist. The internet. Yeah, but so if you want to see someone playing this game really well, there's a shout out <laughs> to the world record holder of the speedrun. I can just stay and watch this. Okay. He was only sixteen when he did it. Which is uh, crazy, considering. Yeah, how long ago did he do it? Did he do it in like, 1992 or? Uh, I thought he did it in 92. And then, then Albert recorded it. Yeah, exactly. Ah, shit in Al. Language. Another one done. Damn, da damn, damn, damn. Trying to smash in this. I, I can't really find where this record, well, when this record was broken. I don't even know if that is actually a good points total or not. Well, obviously. I could record. have that already, who knows? Yeah, it's a speed run, isn't it? Oh, these hands are fucking annoying. Aha! Now we ninja it again. Not ninja, um, samurai. What else do we know about this game? Oh, yeah. Okay, anus. Well... Oh, um, fuck! <laughs> it's just hard. I don't know too much about it. Oh, oh my look I'm getting my ass dicked. There we go. What well, do you reckon those blue things actually are? They look like aliens. What, like alien aliens? Yeah. They look like crystals. They look like big shiny heads. Hmm. There's a Japanese name for this. No, I don't know. that then? Chameleon Kiddo. Chameleon Chameleon Kid. Chameleon Kid. That, that's not racist, by the way, because that's actually what the Japanese name is. Chameleon Kid. There you go. So, uh, yeah, don't accuse us of being racist against Japanese people. Because if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have such a childhood that we had. So we should embrace the Japs. But could you imagine if they actually won World War II? What kind of childhood we would have had then? Hmm, less Nintendo, more Sega. Yeah, perhaps, I want to complain at that. I actually had Nintendo as well, I had them both, so I'm not too biased. I mean, they both had good games, and they both had terrible games. Especially when the Master System was the thing. There was some and it was over here, wasn't it? Like like that. In America, they didn't even really know what a Master System was. Hmm. Well, it was all Nintendo. That. Mass system was a lot more popular in Europe as this tech was. Ooh. Oh, now we're on a beach. Can we get up there? Oh, this isn't going to wait. Uh, this isn't going to be annoying, is it? <laughs> <laughs> get as many as you can. Oh, what's that? Oh, you can shoot stuff. Oh, no, you're joking. <laughs> oh, I don't want to go back up there, man. I'm going to keep this. <laughs> what the hell? Let's fight. Can we get out of here? Well, what the hell's that? The music is a bit messed up as well. What's, what are we meant to be doing? I don't know. Getting I'm up. at the end. I don't want to... I want to go back to the other world with... Get some... on it, get on it, get on it. What? Hold down. Well, there's a bomb. It won't be a bomb. Oh, ah, here we are. There you go. I don't want to risk getting any of them. It could be. I don't want an unsuspecting <laughs> helmet on me, on me head. Oh no, there's gonna be a helmet in there. <laughs> I know which helmet's in there as well. What? 
I don't do anything! <laughs> Kills them did eventually. it phase them? Did that phase them? Yeah, yeah. Or did they just disappear on their own? They disappear on their own. Maybe you can't hurt them. I need get... Oh, cock! <laughs> you have to go back then. Oh, fuck it. Let's march on. March on. Sounds like a Pokemon. But yeah... Um... I've this never game. heard that before. No, the main character's name is Casey. Did you ever know that? No, That's Casey such a cool Jones. American cool kid name. Casey. How's this Tetris? Oh, I've got these things and die at me. You die. I'm sure you get the tank dude here, don't you? Uh, there doesn't seem to be a developer for this. It made itself. No, the people who made it. Like, oh shit! It was made by some people. Oh, that's harsh. Graham Bayliss, lead game designer. Do you recognise the name? Who's that? Broderick McRaig. Uh, Mark Cerny. Can we go down here? Hit. What a bullshit. Hoyt Nguyen. Hoyt Nguyen. Like a, some kind of Vietnam meme. Vietnamese. NG. I, again, I wasn't being racist. It just sounded. Bill Dunn and Steve. Don't worry about being this. Hoyter. No, I'm just saying, like, I wasn't. The, the, the name is. Ah! Just the letters NG. It tricked me. Which phonetically spells a word. <laughs> NG doesn't spell shit. Okay, where are you from? I think you pronounce it. Noog. Noig. 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 Oh, neat. That's proper, like. Yeah, now we're rolling. Now we're racist. What? We're a freaking Nazi in a tank. Hey, Jews. Shoot Jew schools, probably. Fuck the Jews! You're sympathising with Hitler again. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just... Oh, you got method acting, aren't I? <laughs> oh, should, oh should shit! Should put the, put the tank thing down when stuff falls on you. That's what it's for, isn't it? I don't know, is it? Yeah, it's designed for that. I don't know. I don't Try trust it. it. <laughs> you only... You got that. Ah-ha, uh -huh. fuck you, Gaps. Get across here. Not yet. It's funny this. I don't, don't want to jump. Don't jump. Don't, don't. Just get out of there and drop down. Careful where you're dropping. Oh, no. Oh, for God's sake. I knew it. Oh, fucking bolt. See, now, now in modern game, ah! you, you can look down at <laughs> where you're dropping. You just fell too much. <laughs> you're crap at this. <laughs> you're so crap. Oh, it's so floaty. Why are you that? Oh, yeah, I get it. Some suits give you extra hit points, do they? Yeah, and now we're just this fag. Casey. Casey. Such an American name, like Chuck. So the backstory behind this game is that the new virtual reality arcade game called Wildside came to town and every kid played it. Wildside? That's actually um, a group of people over here, isn't it, Wildside? Mm. And they dress up like rockers, even though they're in the 60s and losing their hair. Yeah. Like 80s rockers, spandex and all that shit. But anyway, we digress. Oh. Oh, nothing seemed that ordinary until kids began to disappear. The game's boss, Heavy Metal. <laughs> so there is a boss somewhere. <laughs> freed himself from his scripted AI, and he was using his new freedom to kidnap every kid who could not beat the game, which was all of them until now. A boy named Casey who calls himself, calls himself, Kid Chameleon entered no. the game and must yeah, you're, you're, every level, every boss, and you, Heady himself. Oh, you know you're a twat when you have to come up with your own nickname. Yeah. Hey, uh, I'm Casey. You can call me Kid Chameleon. Call me Mega Longcock. Long Slong. Right. Um, there's a few. That I can talk to you about. Um, the helmets in depth now. Ah, <laughs> tell us more about our in depth so, helmets. In, in Kid Chameleon's Casey form, if he runs out of points while wearing any other mask, he'll revert to that. And he has got a special power in that form. What, in himself? Yeah. Douchebaggery. He, he can grab ledges and do that athletic oh, climb. Oh, nice. He can. He can indeed. The Iron Knight, who we've seen, is the most durable character. Iron Able Knight. He can take more hits than anyone oh, else. Set the tank. The one who can climb up vertical walls. Oh, I thought the tank would take He's more heavy enough to break through some floors, and his 50 diamond power is especially useful. We have 50 diamond powers. What? I never knew that the whole time I was playing this game. Do I, what? When you get 50 diamonds, it looks like, when you get 50 diamonds, yeah, that power is unlocked. When you get 50 diamonds as a knight, an extra hit point to the hit point total is added. Oh, what? 
And that hit point, that hit point goes through any transformations. It I didn't through. know that. Anyway, we died. We'll just do it again. <laughs> well, don't keep going into long. Well, Red spell. A samurai defeats enemies, breaks the walls. Moving. He's my favourite. He's faster moving except for sky cutter. And he doesn't. And he jumps fly. higher. He's not as floating. He doesn't seem to have a 50 diamond power though. Oh, he doesn't need one. He's got a vagina on his face. So there's a comic of this. Who are you now anyway? The berserker. Charge through walls or foes. And we've seen maniacs as well. Actually modelled after Jason Voorhees. He uh, throws axes steadily in a straight line. He does. And the juggernaut. Oh, this. Is that tank that shoots skulls which bounce forward, bounce forward and ricochet until they disappear. Let's go this way. Oh. Try and find that guy you were. What, the one with the laser beam? He's called Eyclops. Eyclops? And he can temporarily reveal hidden blocks and fire a harmful beam for a low diamond cost. Oh, that's what I'm doing, fuck all. Oh, dude, There that. aren't many more helmets to go. Is there a fly? Yeah, the, the fly's called Micromax. It can stick yeah, to walls and it's half the size and fits in small places but walks really slow. There was a comic of this. Was it in the Sonic the Hedgehog comic? Yeah, it was there. Yes, a, I remember it It was now. a comic strip in the Fleetway production publication, Sonic the Comic. I used to buy them all the time. I had loads of them. Uh, in the comic, there's a disembodied presence known as the voice, giving advice and encouragement. I have that. My doctors call it schizophrenia. There are people out there with schizophrenia, Gaz, who won't take too kindly to such comments. Oh, what's this? I met a bloke arguing with himself over what kind of potatoes he was going to be having that evening. Really? Mm-hmm. When was that? This was a couple of years ago. Where was it? At work? On the bus. The bus that Elkis He wanted mashed potato, but whoever he was talking to wanted jacket potatoes. And he was there going, No, I keep telling you. That really loud, talking to himself. Yeah. I keep telling you, we're having mashed. <laughs> we're not having jacket potatoes today. No, mashed, that's enough. We're having mashed. Oh, Poor guy. Jesus Christ, you crazy weirdo. Poor guy. Poor guy. Poor me. I had to sit there. <laughs> You're crap at this. <laughs> fucking terrible. It's oh, so God. floaty, man. Guys, the uh, hardcore old school gamer. He's beat. Ghouls and ghosts. I have beat and ghouls and ghosts. My game On game. Infinite Continues. Yeah, you have Infinite Continues. It's a battle of... The one I played did. Mm -hmm. Jorance. The one on Nintendo, Super Nintendo, I had, Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Yeah, but all Nintendo games were pretty easy, weren't they? No, that wasn't easy. Can Never we jump on it. fire? No, you can't jump on fire! Right. <laughs> you also can't jump on lava, most importantly. No, you just die. No, I thought a lot of SNES games were far easier than what... Yeah, well, Super Ghouls just... and Ghosts was Ghouls and Ghosts, still. You know, it wasn't mm. easy. I can get past, like, level four. I watched um, a cousin of mine complete it once. I did do the Mega Drive one. That's the one I finished. Sega Genesis. This just sounds stupid. I don't know how long I'm going to get past this shit bag. Charge him. Can't you charge him? I don't know. He's made of fires. Well, when, when his fire trail disappears, just start charging. Head button. Ow. <laughs> you killed him. <laughs> yeah, but now we're this floaty bastard. But now we can double jump onto that and do that athletic climb up together. It's probably better this way. Oof, no, we didn't hit that one. Well, we're not getting on this teleporter down here. Why? Where's that go? I can't Back remember. to where I just was. Uh, well, we had um, we have the games BAFTA awards coming up. We do. How exciting. So let's read out some of these nominations we've got. Uh, um, what's the first? So for the action and adventure game, that's the award. Probably, the, probably best action adventure what game. What was the best action adventure game I played last year? Actually, I know what the best action adventure game is that I played last year. Connor. Tomb Raider. So you think that should win? By a million miles. Is well, it you there? didn't play The Last of Us, so you don't know don't The Last to. of Us should win. I don't need to play it. But I've heard a lot of places that the controls were fucking terrible. 
so the controls are terrible in places in a lot of games. The controls are actually really neatly designed, but there's nothing wrong with it. Maybe, maybe if you shit at playing well, games. Well, what is in the category anyway? Huh? Well, we've got, sure. we got The Last of Us, which you can't really comment on. No. Like, you never got around to playing it. Oh, you tosser! <laughs> you carry on? <laughs> GTA 5. Oh, shit. You're running out of time. GTA 5, ah. which, um... Ah. Does that count as action and adventure? Yeah, there's a lot of action. It's not... Don't jump! Ooh, now you're going to have to go down there. Oh, what? It puts you back? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyway, nominations for what? Yeah, as action said, and adventure. Graph of 35, like, I don't think that really counts as action and adventure. When you say action and adventure, I'm thinking more fantastic things like Lord of the Rings and stuff like that. Not San Andreas or New York City. You know, but. Mm. What, what is it? <laughs> What category? It's a category all in its own in that kind of game with a sandbox that isn't some kind of RPG. I suppose. Let's see what you're saying. So we've got Lego Marvel Superheroes as a good game. Good game. Good game. Is, it, is it BAFTA good though? It was a slow year, wasn't it? Yeah. Let's be honest. It's still 2014 now. It's only just begun. Yeah, I think these are from like last year, aren't they? Oh, it's pretty weird. Why didn't they just hold this at, like, just before New Year's Eve or something? Hmm. But yeah, Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag. No, we're uh, not very into Assassin's Creed. In fact, we're quite adverse to Assassin's Creed. No, crap. And, um, yeah. Bottom 4 is meant to be good. Yeah, but, but I don't think it's going to be as good as it, GTA 5 or Last of Us or Tomb Raider, is it? Or Badlands. I don't really know what Badlands is. I don't know what Badlands is. I think it's a mobile game. It looks like it's been made by Finnish people. Finnish? Finnish. I always say Finnish because Finnish just sounds like too much like another word. Just Finnish. Come on, you fucker! So for game design, we've got Tomb Raider, Tearaway, don't know what that is. <laughs> do you know what Tearaway is? Yes, it was on um, the PS Vita. That's the new one, isn't it? PS Vita. So what do you do? Just tear paper? Yeah, there's like a yeah, little paper world or something. Because you've got the back screen and the front screen, aren't you, on the Vita? Yeah. So you can grab both and tear things. Basically, that's on the screen. So it's pretty neat. Papers, please. That's pretty cool. No idea again. The Last of Us. I watched them um, making of this game and it did actually put a lot of effort into the design phase. Why can't I do this? Like the stuff you take for granted when you play it. Yeah. When you watch the making of it, it's like, ah, thanks. That's pretty neat. You know, it, it really was a good, believable world. Like you say Tomb Raider's good, but it's a bit of a funny in it. Like the world it's in. There's a Johnson Island that's got like crazy Japanese mysteries on it. Gods and ghosts and undead things. But yeah. The Last of Us is really like, it's trying to catch like the gritty element of human desperation. And it does it really well. You know, it's a really good drama as well as a game. So, there we go. That, that wins Maybe my I should have played it. Yeah, you definitely should play it. What's that for? Game design? Yeah. I mean, there's also GTA 5, which Oof. did have a lot in its design, but, I mean... I think it's, it's again, it's just another wacky game, isn't it? Wacky GTA. I suppose. We expect no more. Or less. They've had their awards. Yeah. Roll over GTA. <laughs> we know you're great. <laughs> Artistic achievement beyond two souls. No, that shouldn't win anything. What for artistic? Artistic. It's just a sack of shit. Just, just talk about the art, not not the game mechanics. This is art here. Well, it didn't look anything special. I didn't play it, really? so I don't no, know it's not like what artistically is going on with it. Did you play it? <laughs> <laughs> no? That's another one I've not played. So you've got an opinion on the game you haven't played?